Shri Abdu Samad Sadani. Thank you, madam, for permitting me to participate in this very important discussion on the budget. Madam, with due respect to our honorable finance minister, we have to register our agony and anguish in the ideas expressed in the budget and the very strategies employed behind the preparation of this budget. Madam, this budget completely neglects the burning realities of the country, the existing conditions of our economy. For example, it ignores the problematic poverty, the unending unemployment, the increasing inflation. And also, Madam, it completely ignores the widening gap between the incomes of the poor and the rich and the disparity of the annual household incomes. There is no measure, no suggestions in the budget for increasing money in the hands of the poor. And it ignores many other new problems born out of the uncertainties of the COVID days. Dekhne mein bhoot acha lagta hai budget. Khoob surat hai. Jaisay mujhe yaad aja hai madam. Gharib logo ke saabne tasbir aisa hai ke aap hi ki thara khoob surat bhoot. Aap hi ki thara khoob surat bhoot. Aap hi ki thara be wafa zindagi. This budget completely ignores the poor, the rural people, the rural poor, the burning problems of the country. For example, Madam, now what is the condition, the living reality of the country? 57% of the national income, it is in the hands of the 10% of the population of our country. Their wealth is increasing, this 10% percentage of the population. There is 52 percentage decline in the income of the poorest of the population. 32 percentage decline in the income of the lower middle classes. And there is serious unemployment which is already discussed and disputable. I think even the Honorable Finance Minister will not be disagreeing with this point. And one fourth of the youth of the country, they are unemployed. And rural poverty is very serious. And we know that only 116 nations are there in the list of the hunger nations. And India's position is 104th in the list of the hunger nations. No money, no food, no medicines. Only the rural poor are getting free rations. Madam, free rations may help them to satiate and satisfy the hunger of the people. But it will not be helping the poor people to meet the nutritional needs of our people. But the budget, I don't know why, this completely, there is a blind eye towards these problems of the country. Aankheng agar hai band, to din bhi raat hai. Aankheng agar hai band, to din bhi raat hai. Isme bhala kusur kya hai aftab ka. It is the condition. That is why our Honorable Rahul Gandhi ji was referring to the disparity that is existing in the country. Madam, most important thing is equality and social justice. But this budget which ignores the lower sections of the people, the minorities, the other backward classes, budget does not take into consideration this motto, this basic motto of our country. Everything for everyone. That has to be the motto of our economic policy. Spreading the digital connectivity, establishing a digital university, all are important. Welcome moves. We don't like disagree with that. But what is the urgent need of the country now? Whether a digital university or with the spreading digital connectivity, making it universal, welcoming that, supporting that and agreeing with that. I would like to add, there are other problems with regard to roti, kapda, or makan. This has to be solved at the initial level. And in the budget also, the Honorable Finance Minister was referring to our national leaders. Nowadays, the government is often quoting and mentioning the name of Nedaji Subhash Chandra Bose. It is good. But what was the philosophy of Nedaji Subhash Chandra Bose? What was his ideology? I am quoting here from Nedaji. Nedaji once said, I quote, I have already hindered that I plead for a coalition between labor and nationalism. Labor and nationalism. 
bracket, I am using labor here in a wider sense to include the peasants as well, unquote. So this was the philosophy. They all stood for inclusion, not for exclusion. But the government is standing for this, uh, excluding many others from the purview of uh, the national considerations. Madam, we have again and again, there is a reference to Atma Nirbhar. Atma Nirbhar means, if it means self-sufficiency, self-dependence, that is okay. But this was the same ideology that we had during the freedom struggle, the Swaraj, Swadeshi movements, and the government is claiming that it is feeding 800 millions of our people. Why? Why the government has to feed such a large number of the people? Because these millions cannot afford nutritious food. That is the condition existing in the country. When you speak about the Atma Nirbhar, I am reminded of another Indian motto, Om Sahana Vavatu. Om Sahana Vavadu. Let us be saved together. Let us be helped together. Let us be protected together. So the, what the country needs now is togetherness. Bridging the digital divide is important. But before bridging the digital divide, my request, Madam, two minutes. Madam, two minutes. Two minutes. Only two minutes. Madam, Madam, before, before bridging, before bridging the digital divide, we have to bridge the divide between the house and the have nodes. So, in this Amrit Khan and this COVID days, what really wanted for the country was a Murda Sanjeevani. Amrudakal, we were in need of a Murda Sanjeevani for our economy, which is already in a very bad condition. But, but the budget fails to uh, provide such a Murda Sanjeevani for our economic condition. And uh, it is the opposition's duty. When we point out these things, sometimes finding fault with us. It is our, it is our duty. I am concluding, madam, by just quoting a couplet. Nasiyahi ke hai dushman. Nasafedi ke hai dushman. Nasiyahi ke hai dushman, nasafedi ke hai dushman. Hamko aayi na dikhana hai, dikha dete hai. This is the duty of the opposition to show the mirror and what is reflected in this. I would like to request the Honorable Minister to consider the minorities, the backward classes, the suppressed, the oppressed, the sidelined, the deprived and the depressed sections of the people and to take them into the national mainstream in the economic policies. Thank you.